All right, so today, so today for an intermediate video, we're going to repair or try to repair a VHS tape. Why would you want to repair a VHS tape? I don't know. There are many different reasons. Why is the world talking about EMPs today? I don't know. Maybe an EMP occurs one day and you lose all your digital media. Let's say your thumb drives get wiped out. Your, your DVD player gets wiped out, your Blu-ray Blu player gets wiped out, your DVR gets wiped out, your hard drives get wiped out, and all that's left is some old VHSs in the basement or in the attic or in the shed or someplace they shouldn't be stored, and that's all you have left for entertainment. Um, more realistically, let's just say this was not a movie and this was your family reunion from the year 1995 and you've lost uh, that tape because it went bad but one day you said I'll save the tape maybe one day I can repair it well maybe today is the day maybe today is the day you get to watch the tape from 1995 because you watched this video these are some good reasons why you would want to make a video or look at a video like this to repair a VHS tape so let's move on so I know this tape is broken because I put it in and it doesn't work. Um, <clears throat> a lot of tapes get a, a, scum, a scum calcium buildup on them. That there'll be white marks, like a white ash on the reel, inside the reel. And if you see that, it's usually a sign that it's been in moisture or heat or both. And that'll make the tape stick together. And let me start by saying... The first thing that breaks a VHS tape or pops the ribbon in any way is putting it in a VCR and pressing play because play will pull uh, on the ribbon hard and it doesn't have a real stopping point. Uh, it doesn't have strong, uh, uh, sensitive enough sensors in it to tell it to stop pulling the ribbon. Um, so if there's a bind or the tape is stuck on top of the other ribbon on the reel and it's stuck together it'll just keep pulling until it pops something has to give but if you first put a tape in and you press rewind fast forward and you go through those motions several times that is a much weaker uh, way of spinning these reels see that's how you know a tape is broken as well they're spinning on their on their free spinning independently. independently that means that there's no ribbon in between here another way you can tell is press this little button on the side here to open the top flap there is no ribbon running across here between these steel wheels there would be a ribbon coming out of here and running across here and going back down and there is none so that means this this, this tape reel is popped um, not that this is a valuable tape this is just a project as an intermediate to show you what you need to do to repair something like this or if it can be repaired and how you would do it obviously if it's broken in the middle like this it's not the middle but it's it looks like it's more toward the beginning of the tape possibly I'm gonna lose this much film if I decide to take this section of the reel bring it over to here and and discard this section so instead of splicing it in the middle we could I'll tell you I'll show you both ways you see this little red some are white and some are clear. The, these are red. These are little snap tabs. They slide out, the ribbon goes in, goes over it, then you snap them back in. And I'll show you that in a second. So let's, let's start by getting a little uh, screwdriver, cheap little screwdriver kit, and get to this and see what we can do. Let's see if we can save this tape. Now, obviously, we're going to have some, some interruption somewhere in this tape if we repair it in the center or toward the beginning or the end. Um, you know, we could cut off the, the ending credits if it was only a little bit over here. We could cut off uh, some of the beginning uh, advertisements over here and still be able to watch the rest of the tape. But if this is a priceless family uh, reunion or a family video from the 1980s, from the 1990s, um, or, or even the year 2000, a lot of people put stuff on VHS. They go from 8mm to VHS. 
and your VHS tape is now broken for some reason. I'll also discuss the static that you see on a tape that you can't get cleared up. Now once a tape is exposed to a magnet, that's when you have a serious problem, like the tape is, is almost unrepairable. That's when it becomes warped. That I have not seen uh, a, uh, a way to repair um, because you're erasing part of the, the tape. So you want to keep any kind of cassette tape, 8-track, or VHS away from... So we have a screw here, 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 and two here. Some may be in different locations, but this is the general tape setup, at least back to 1980, 81, 83, 84. Um, and so we'd remove these screws. So what was I talking about? The, uh, the uh, uh, warped VHS tape? Yeah, the warped... Uh, Keeping a cassette tape away from it and such? Yes, exposing a tape to a magnet, a stereo speaker magnet, or a just a regular magnet in general, any kind of earth magnet, uh, you would have a problem um, with it erasing the tape or warping the tape, meaning the sound quality is really warped and so is the tape. The tape is constantly fading in and out and warped. And in some extreme cases, you can have nothing but static. So, okay, so we got the tape apart. So the first thing we're going to do is open it and see where, what falls out and how it falls out. Okay. I can't remember. Is this the tape we, we tried to repair in the past and it broke? Nope. No? We have not touched that tape. We haven't? Until we tried to play it one time. Okay. All right, so I just took it off. Obviously, I took it off upside down. I should have probably taken it off the other way. So, note to self, take the tape off the other way. Uh, leave this on the bottom. So, this reel, technically, would go here. This reel would technically go here. And you can see where our ribbon is broken. Look at that. Look, see how it's torn on the edge like that? Yeah. You know what that means? That, that means, means that section's got to get... That right means on. that this tape probably stuck together to another piece of itself, and it just kept pulling, and it had no... Uh, the, the, once you press play on the VHS player... No whether, resistors to tell it to stop. There's nothing to tell it, hey, slow down, it's got a lot more tension pulling this ribbon. So... So the ribbon the, gave what? Right. Plus, tapes get old, they get brittle, but generally you can still get them to play. They are pretty resilient, much more than you think. Most people don't want to fool with this, they just throw it away. But how do you throw away something that is priceless, like, um, you know, a, like I said, a family reunion or something that's priceless? Um, it's, a, it's a heck of a decision to have to make. But you see these little steel pins? they go over like that. So on one end you'll have one close to the end, on the other one you'll have it in the middle kind of like that. Back up and give an overview. So this is what you would generally look like when you'd put it back together. So if I were to put this back together, I would bring this back around and place it on. These springs right here, note how they're located. What their purpose is the purpose of these springs right here and these little levers, these tabs, these levers, are to lock this ribbon reel in place. It only allows it to rotate one way and then it stops. A ratchet. Yeah, it's like a ratchet lock. Okay. On the other side of this tape, your VCR, where's it at? Right here. A pin goes through here once the tape is in the machine and pushes through here like this and takes pressure off these levers. You see that? Uh-huh. To allow the tape to roll free. Otherwise it's just locked. Correct. Okay. So you want to make sure these are on there. And you want to make sure that they're holding pressure against both. So final check before you put it back together is click, click. Right? Yes. And with the reel in click place, one way, then... click, click the other way. What that does is it stops the tape, the ribbon, from falling out of the tape when you store it. You don't want the ribbon coming all out and, like a cassette tape, 
yeah. being all over the place, okay? Um, you, you, the younger generations of kids are going to know nothing about this unless they're paying attention to a video like this. And I think this is good to archive because, you know, it, like I said, uh, one day you may run into your parents' tape or your grandparents' tape. You want to know what's on it. And you want to know familiar faces you haven't seen in years, you know, and memories. And uh, as we move into a digital age, memories are disappearing and they're becoming part of a digital machine. And what a perfect tape to be repairing when talking about digital machines. The Matrix, because that's basically what we're living in today, right? I mean, this yeah. is, I couldn't, this was an accident, you know? I mean, we accidentally picked this tape, but perfect for this video. It's ironic, you're filming how to repair VHS tape on a digital camera. We could have gone all retro and just filmed it with the VHS camera instead. I could have filmed it with a with a a, a handheld eight millimeter. I could have filmed it with a I could have filmed it with, with an audio track. I, yeah, I could have filmed it with whatever you know we have in our collection. But I collect retro things, so even though I do home improvement stuff, you still can learn how to do VHS tape. So think about subscribing to the channel because you never know what I'm going to be fixing next. It might be something crazy. Um, so let's get into this. All right, how can we repair this tape? Well, we can, we can get rid of this ribbon here. All we have to do is just pull all this ribbon out and then remove this tab right here. We would take a screwdriver or a pair of scissors or something like that or a pocket knife, stick it underneath here and push this tab till it slides out. This tab, there's a relief cut out here, there's three of them, but one specifically in this location. So this tab slides out and it's just plastic. And what you do is put the other ribbon over the top of it, right there, over the end, leave the other end sticking past it, and then you put this thing in place, and you take something like this, anything, a flathead screwdriver or anything, and you press on this red tab. Uh, put it back in. Right, with some force, and what it'll do is it'll snap in one side, and it'll snap in the other side, and what it does is it pinches the tape ribbon inside of this to keep it from pulling off the reel and that's that it's done and then you just put the tape back together and let the machine rewind fast forward you can also clean up a vhs by doing a tape by doing that a vhs tape that you think is gone that doesn't play has a layer of grime or film uh scum from moisture or heat or dry rot or being in an attic on the actual ribbon itself and it's microscopic, you can't really see it, and it's sitting on the ribbon itself, and when you're playing it in your VCR, you got, noth nothing you got nothing but static. But if you, you find, if you play the same tape five, six times, put it on repeat, and just turn the TV off and go to sleep and wake up the next morning, the tape's actually working. So before you discard your VHS tape, play it several times, and let it clean the scum off because there's a little wheel that will rub this tape constantly across the surface to the point where it starts cleaning itself. And the same goes for your VHS machine. Sometimes you'll put some dirty tapes on your machine and your heads will get dirty on your machine and the next thing you know every tape has static not just the one you put in. And you find that your VHS player you think that it's broken because there's nothing but static on the TV or the TV says no signal meaning the VHS player is not reading the tape or any tape for that matter and I've had a tape that I put in that I bought from a thrift store that did that to every VHS player until I put any random tape in and hit play they're almost self-cleaning and people don't really know that um, they want to grab a q-tip put some alcohol on it and clean the tape head Yes, you can do that. But what happens when your ribbon is constantly dirty because these things are 30 years old? you got to let it clean manu manually pretty much. By playing the tape over and over again. And I've, I've cleaned up two or three VCRs just letting them play over and over again. And that might happen. Um, and just pick a random tape to do that with. Tape head cleaners are good if you can find them. But sometimes they don't work on certain VHS players. They have too many sensors in there that tell the VHS player it doesn't recognize it as a playable tape and it will just automatically eject it. So VHS head cleaners are not necessarily the best 
you know, always obtainable or usable, both. So, now that we're in this, that deep, let's see what we can do to this tape. Okay, so, first thing we did was get us a beach towel so that we can collect all of our supplies if we lose any screws or springs or anything. And it's really not that much to actually take apart. Now we have a white wheel here. Um, where did that actually go? Let's figure it out. Uh, probably went on this. Nope. Didn't fit on here. Ah, right here. Huh? Oh. Okay, well, let's get through this and we'll figure this out. All right. Let's see. Here it goes, right here. See that? You have that fine space in between there. Or a ribbon. Right. So your ribbon would go up through this, around this, this way, down this path right here. Here's, here's like a brush pad to clean the tape ribbon. And then back down to the reel, see? So that's how your reel goes, like that. So, one reel, two reels. Well, we should do this and play the movie backwards, right? <laughs> could do that. Could do some Aussie stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I wonder see, if anybody's ever done that. See if we can pick up something funny. I don't know what the sound quality would sound like backwards. It'd play backwards. It would? we get a hidden message. Yeah. All right, look. See that? I can't even get that ribbon loose. Barely. It was on there. It was stuck together. This tells me that this tape was in a warehouse or uh, probably a storage unit. Hot room. And a hot room. Still stuck? It's a little tighter than normal. But that's where I would try to put piece this back together. Like this, right? But I can't do that. I'm going to lose a section of the movie no matter what. But if all you're going to lose is grandma's dress, and then it's going to fast forward and have a little static in that section, or cut to picture to it in something else, yeah. you still have the rest right. of all the other events. Right, so, all you're missing is that like two seconds, not even two seconds, depends on how right. wide the cut is. So in this tape, realistically, I'm pro I might miss Neil. Uh, uh, Firing a uh, bullet or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You know. I don't know what section of the tape we're in. So I... I've never even watched this tape yet. I know what the movie's about, but I haven't watched the tape yet. That was at the beginning, so I might be losing a step on the building or something. I don't know. Uh, oh, when they come to t come and get come him? Come get him, yeah. All right, so first thing I'd want to do is cut this ribbon as square as I possibly can. It's never going to be perfect, but I'd cut it as square as I could. There is another way. Put them together like this. What would that do? Watch. Well, I've done it this way, too. It works that way, but not as good. Um, put them together like that. Lay them flat. Flat as can be. Cut them. So you got two cuts. They're both square, see? See what I did? You seen that trick? Mm -hmm. That's like cutting two pieces of wood on top of each other, right? And you got a perfect cut for both of them. Right, they fit together uh, like a Yeah, puzzle. right, okay. Hey, you're pretty smart there, fella. Okay, so look. So we got our tape out. And you want to use some, not too thick, but pretty heavy-duty clear tape. I'm using box tape. I could use that thinner tape uh, that's kind of uh, cloudy. Uh, but I'm going to use this. And I'm going to cut myself a section of this out. It doesn't have to be as wide as the tape. But if you get it close, you can pull it off. And the hard part is, is when you get older, your eyes get worse. And it's hard to see what the heck you're doing. And I guess that's why you need glasses to be able to see stuff like this. See, I can't even see where that tape went, can you? Must have stuck. A piece of clear tape. Yeah, I know. Can you see where it fell? All right, well. Stuck on the back side. It did? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. 
Alright, so I'm not that bad yet, but I really need some reading glasses. But anyway, um, I try to do this without reading glasses. I'm not ready to submit to old age yet. Um, everybody has a breaking point, so I'm sure y'all didn't come here to hear my philosophies on life. Here. Alright, All right. so we got a piece of tape here. So what I'm going to do is put this on the underside of the ribbon. Okay, now it's on the underside of the ribbon. See how it's stuck to the ribbon real good? Mm -hmm. See how it's got my DNA and fingerprints and all that on it for, for, for forensic files? All right, so when they find this somewhere in somebody's home in 20 years from now, they can blame me for no reason. All right. The tape repairman did it. That's right. Now, I want to cut this. I don't want anything protruding out of the sides, because I don't want any reason for this tape to get lumped up. Or snagged. Or snagged, right? So I'm going to try to chop it down a little bit. Alright, there we go. Now, I'm going to come together on the back side and try to put these even. That's the hardest part of this. And if you really want to do it the correct way, try to get something that's flat. Um, maybe like this. And this is not the I most ideal working place. Okay, But this is what we are using right now. So... I don't do it yet. Y'all see what I'm doing. It's very primitive, right? We're just wrapping a Christmas present here. We're fixing a fan belt on a car with a belt buckle here. <laughs> I saw that in a movie one time. I was laughing. Give me your belt. Somebody, one of these old-fashioned movies, somebody took a belt and replaced a fan belt with a belt you wear around your waist. Yeah, it tries to jump. It was the most ridiculous thing I ever seen. I knew, even as a younger man, that there's no possible way that that would ever work, because the belt buckle would cling itself in the way. And really, this is just luck of the draw. I mean, you either get it right or you don't. And if you get it wrong cut another section on you start over and you're missing more and more of grandma's dress or or Neil dodging a bullet um so Neil there dodging a second bullet <laughs> so we got the tape together now now you're going to get some wrinkles around that spot if this tape ever works again but it's worth giving it a shot so you would take this tape and you would reel it back up best you can preferably get your fixed spot into a different zone like that okay now lay your tape back out am I putting this on the wrong way now backwards yeah you got the back section right now yeah it's true I don't know why I did that I started with the small reel over here I need to end with the small reel over here right right Okay, so where did this pin come from? Right here? You have some steel wheels and a pin. Well, obviously, it didn't come from there if it just fell through. How about right here? That look right? That looks about right. Yeah, yeah. it goes through that, didn't you say? Yes it, yes, it does. Got it. But it should go around this, realistically. Hmm. Let's see. What if I did this? Pushed it this way. Would you accept that? I don't think so. Looks like it would just drag the tape constantly. It's supposed to. It's like a dirt catch. A dust catch. Let's put it like that and see where we get. 
All right. So where would I start? Ribbon there. Yeah. All right. Now for the fan belt. Now remember, you want to try to not knock these off. Okay, just pull them back and let it drop down. Then come around this. And remember, keep your spool kind of taut, so you you're not you don't have a bunch of ribbon falling out everywhere. You think it goes like that? I think so. In between that catch. Okay. I have to pull this back. Okay, that fell down. And what if that went around there that way? Because a lot of people would do that. A lot of people would route this tape around this wheel. Which way is which uh, important? Does it matter? Why don't we find out? Because I have a tape that's never been taken apart. This one has never been taken apart. But why don't we take one apart before we put this back together? And this is how much of the movie we lost. A second. Okay. Stay where you are. Let's see what we got. I know we have a tape up here that actually corrupted my tape head where I had to play the movie three times to get it to work again. The VCR. So here's a recordable tape, the tab's not punched out. By the way, if you want to record over a tape, put a piece of tape over that. Non-recordable tapes don't have this tab, meaning movie tapes like this, see? Right, yeah. It's got an indentation. If you want to record over any movie tape, you can. Just put a tab over it, like a piece of tape across there. Got it. Or if you don't want to record on this tape anymore, punch that tab out. I know this is basic 101 for older folks, but for young kids, that millennials and, 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 and beyond that, gen Generation Z and alphas and stuff coming up, they don't know nothing about this unless their parents taught them. So maybe we can teach them how to repair our memories. <laughs> All right, let's pull this tape apart and not confuse the parts with any other parts and see what's going on inside of this and see if we have the same layout. Now remember, I got this one upside down the other way. All right. A lot of times, you know if the tape's been exposed to, most, exposed to moisture, before you even buy it, you will have rust on the screws and there's one of these screws that has a tiny bit of rust on it and I think it's this one. This one's a little bit discoloration on it. Any metal that gets exposed to moisture is going to have that and if you have that in a tape then you know. You probably have enough moisture to have affected the tape. I'm going to press that release button and lift it up this way. Now that's a better way to take the tape apart. Really we got it right. Did I get it right? Yeah we got it right. This goes in here, the brush goes against the ribbon, the ribbon goes around here, comes this way, goes in between here, in between, not around. Now, I'm saying this because I've made this mistake before. Yeah, it's still play a tape. Eh, it's rug. You know, there were differences in the way the tape played. Alright, so this tape is here. And we're going to put this one to the side and we're going to finish the matrix because this video is getting too long already. So, first thing I'm going to do is, well, the quick release is down there. So, I'll leave that alone and I will just slowly put this tape back together. Go straight down on it. Now it's together, I'm holding it together. I'm not I don't have any screws in it. I'm gonna press that release button, lift it up, see if my ribbon looks right and it's not pinched inside those wheels. Looks right, let it drop, flip it over, put some screws in it, which is basic. And I'm sorry to keep the camera rolling while doing this without editing, but I want you to be able to see the tedious process in this. But it's not that bad, it's pretty easy. Now question is, will this tape work or break again? We will see. Now the tape I used is pretty flexible and strong enough, I believe, to make many cycles and many revolutions around that. Yeah. 
Now the other option is is to take an old cover. Now the other option is if you get a tape like this that breaks in the middle, unfortunately, is to make part one and part two. Ah. Uh, so you take an old cover like this, the one we took apart. Take the reel out. Take take the ribbon out of the reel. Take one reel that was good from this side, switch the reels, put this side this side of the tape on this tape, and then put this short section on this tape. Or if it broke smack dab in the middle, then you have tape in one, tape play two. Got it. But you still saved the your, movie. your precious memories. Memory, movie, whatever the, it the is. The movie's not in interest to me. It's actually really about memories. I'm just not going to take apart, and I have no reason to take apart any of my, movie, my movies that are memories. They are properly stored away, not just in digital form, but in VHS form and in 8mm form. You know, I can't duplicate something from 1966. Yeah. Okay, on 8mm film. Now, we could record it on VHS, keep that copy stored away, keep the 8mm stored away, even though they deteriorate over time and they're flammable. Keep that stored away. Um, keep the slide projector stored away with the slide projector and its bulbs and all of that stuff. So I think our tape is ready and ready to go together. And you can, you can pause that for a minute. All right, so here we go. We, we took our 1990 setup stand. This is what we like to use. We keep this around for fun and entertainment, for retro entertainment. We got a VCR. Actually, this is an amateur news recording VCR uh, home movie maker. 1985. From 1985, uh, made in Japan, which is awesome. Um, and it's, it's also a VHS player. Uh, but it's a good it's a recorder as well dubbing over and stuff yeah so this one top ejects that one works they're both hooked up to each other um this is a vcr i think from 1999 98 or 2001 somewhere in that era and it's a cheaper version um this one has a better quality even though it's older because it was 799 dollars in its time this one is 39 dollars in its heyday because they were phasing them out. So, let's turn on the TV. Should be on channel 3 already. Because that's all this is used for. On this old um, flat. Uh, one of the last models of Sony. Trinitron. But, um, let's see what happens. Now, when I put it in, I don't want to press play. Instantaneously press stop. Because then I want to try to play immediately. You don't want it to auto play. There. Alright. Now, rewind. Or fast forward. Well, we're all the way all the way back to the beginning now, aren't we? All right. Well, let's go back. Now, if this tape breaks and it ejects on its own, all these numbers stop. Uh, you see how it stopped? Well, usually. Should... Well, no. It it stopped for a second to get a feel for how long the tape was. This one has an extra sensor in it to tell. Tell where the tape is. Where to the tell, yeah, is. Well, basically where the reel is. And people don't think VCRs can get that advanced. Oh, yes. You see how it's slowing down on me? Yeah. It's running into snags, like uh, tapes, ribbons sticking together. But one thing that isn't happening is it isn't forced to be broken by pressing play, which is that strong wheel that's going to keep pulling it. So. Yeah. Another thing, they make six-head VHSs. Yeah. More advanced models. We already be wound, but we'd fast forward now. Stop, stop, don't you play. And yeah. then fast forward. Oh, so that's fast. Because we started out with a small reel. Ooh. You heard that? Yep. <laughs> that was my tape. My tape went gypsy. But it didn't snap it. No, it's still going. If it snapped it, those numbers would quit and they would eject that tape. <sighs> so let's see if we can get the matrix to play. And how fuzzy is the picture because of how dirty is the tape, we don't know. But if you play generally any tape several times, it'll clear up. And then, of course, if you play it too much, a couple thousand times, it'll wear out and get lighter and lighter and hazier and hazier. In other words, the first thing to go on a tape is the sharpness. 
it starts to get dull. Then as the tape wears out, the sound starts to warp, much like being exposed to a magnet. Or a cassette tape in a truck or car. Right, same difference. It's a long movie. <laughs> yeah, what sucks is, is I gotta rewind it again, and people have to sit through it. So if you want to fast forward the video, fast forward it. But I Maybe not, maybe just cut it for them. What do you think? No, I'm not going to cut it because I want people to see that this is the same damn tape that we repaired. Okay, that's enough. So that was a fast forward. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a rewind. It's weird that the numbers stopped in the middle, but look, it kept fast forwarding. Look, man, I've never been able to figure those numbers out. I've seen it do that with a tape before, but the tape not snap, so... Well, that thing clocks like a bad odometer <laughs> in a used car salesman's parking lot, okay? You never know what the numbers mean. <laughs> Just the size that it wants to be that many. I think you'd click stop twice and it resets the time for you. Thanks, but you know what? I'm not that tech I don't think people care. <laughs> I'm not that tech savvy. I come from an older generation, okay? Maybe if you were record, maybe if you were recording closed cat, closed circuit television, you know, yeah, with yeah. the six-hour old, old six-hour Sony tapes, the extended play tapes. Or you have one that goes for an extended play. Yeah, an SLP, super long play. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a run over. Hey, it still held. It still did. That would have been a snapping point. The true test is when you press play. It looks like that the snapping point was about, it looks like three minutes so far. I'm going to stop it here because I'm not going to make y'all wait anymore. Let's see if the matrix plays. Do I have to turn the volume down so I don't get censored? You might. Alright. Where's the volume? Let's see. Alright, so we've got commercials now. We'll probably fast forward through it. I had to read, I had to. I had to, you can go down, film the, that's not going to censor me, is it? I don't think so. It's an Austin Powers commercial. Yeah. Okay, look, it's, it looks like it's playing or it's showing something. I'm talking about all the music. Get the, look. get the soundtrack. Look. Definitely playing. Okay. Let's see. Let's go through a fast play. Remember, this is not about recording any films. Don't, I don't want you to double record this film. Because I don't want to get accused by YouTube or anybody else for trying to, to record uh, piracy or something. I don't want to accuse of... They're all ultra-sensitive on that. Yeah, well, I don't want to get accused of me messing with the 1977 law, federal law, to save Hollywood's behind. This is about repairing a VHS tape, not recording movies. Should be around Go down. It's fast forwarding. Look at that. Still working. Still working. Picture's that is the that Matrix. Uh, that chick with the slick back hair it's just started flying. So that is that is the Matrix. Go down. I want to see where my tape repair job is. Where do you think it is? Around three something. Keep going. Should be around two oh eight maybe. Wait, this is a used car mileage. We don't know what it is. <laughs> Should hear it go. Okay, well. It's either going to play or break. Okay. Every now and then, go down and show that the movie's still playing. I got it on uh, fast forward, slow fast forward. I want you to show what it looks like. Right. Your boy's just waking up. What? Your boy's just waking up. <laughs> Your generation there we go. There we go. Just found it. Got it. All I did was throw the tracking off a little bit. What does it look like? Quick static. Quick static buzz. Rewinding over it. Tell them what it looks like. I'm going back. Quick static.
Still throws the tracking off a little bit. Well, for a little bit. Yeah, not, not permanently, huh? Not, not permanently, no. It, it stopped itself, though. What do you mean it stopped itself? It stopped itself without me pressing the button. Well, That's not a good thing. Try pressing play one time, see what happens. I don't want to do that. I want to hit the one. Unless it broke the tape again. Stop. Nope, it didn't. Alright. Maybe you pressed the button too many times. Maybe. Where's, where's the problem at? Where After he gets messaged. And the people knock on his door. Right now? A few moments after this. Show, a few seconds after show this. The, show the mess up. A few seconds after that. That's it? No, actually. It happens after that. <laughs> That's the head realigning itself, I think. Yeah, look, see? Just says play. Go down. Go down. I want to see if it messes up. You can show half the TV. Yeah. Okay, I think you can get away with that. Yeah. Come on. When, when does this do this? Right as a knock on his door and he goes and um, answers it. Okay. Right around here. The dude still looks like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, even in the Matrix. Does he not? He does. Don't film the whole thing. Then I'm not. I don't get in trouble. Half the screen. Pick that up, algorithm. It probably will. He opens up the door fully and it's supposed to go. When, when does it do it? A few seconds after this. You said that a few seconds ago. No, no, trip up. And there it is, right there. So that's my tape? Yep. Did it make it? It made it. Did it make it through? It's still blink and play. Alright, so the VCR detected an interruption. So it tried to, it, if it would have stayed that way, it would have shut the tape down. Yeah. And then you would have had to press play again. Go down, it's still playing? Definitely. Then generally it works. So what we have now is the Matrix. And the only part of the movie that's messed up in this tape him walking is him talking at the door. Yeah, that's it. With some thugs or bandits or whatever they are. Um. Some some people from the Matrix or whatever. And so that's how you repair a tape. We just took apart a tape for the first time. Uh, this tape for the first time. Repaired it. Put it back together and it works. And that's it. And this is what? Some years old. Yeah, two thousand. This tape, this tape might be from like what, two thousand? Two thousand, two thousand one. I don't know. There's a date on it somewhere. What does it say? There isn't. Okay. But no, generally the movie's around two thousand, so the tape well, no, probably should be. A, there should be a number here. There's code. Different part number and scheme from other ones. Usually Disney says and not the year. They don't. Okay, I want to say it here, right? Yeah. Re-release where? 99. Okay. So 99. So right around the time the VCR was made. Great. Okay. So you can do that from tape from 85, 83, 81, 99. Yep. Uh, 95. All your precious memories can be, can be possibly fixed at home with just some basic... Chinese screwdrivers. Chinese screwdrivers. Uh... Cheaply made uh, tools, a pair of hair cutting scissors, or a reg pair of regular cutting scissors. And some clear tape. And some, some box tape. So whatever mom has hanging around the house uh, for wrapping Christmas gifts, you can repair old movies for the holidays. And I hope this helps around Christmas time because maybe somebody's got, like I got an old Italian uh, get-together from 1994 or 93. Of all, all the head leftover uh, Italian families meeting, and my family and my, uh, you know, and so they're all meeting. So we get to watch that for Christmas. We get to watch grandparents, um, all those old tapes if necessary. Of course, all that's on digital media now. But if we wanted the original version or the closest to, we'd have it. Mm -hmm. Especially the stuff that was on a camcorder. 
right? Right. So this also applies for the small tapes. VHSC or whatever. VHSC. And you can do the same thing with... Uh, Cassette tape? No, the other one. Uh, Hi-8. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can do Hi-8 and you can do Betamax. <laughs> you got any of those. I got Hi-8s. No, Betamaxes. I, I got Betamax. You can do... I got... I need to get a player, but we got Betamax. We could do Betamax. We can repair all that. But the same concept applies. So you guys got a good visual. Thank y'all for watching. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more goof ups and stuff and things that may be helpful to you. Um, some things may not be. Some things may be. You may like them. You might not. It doesn't matter. At some point, something will come across my channel that will be helpful to you in some way. Hopefully. All right.